Tell you another problem that I've worked out. Really? It might might make a slight difference on fat people. Don't put a light in a fridge. Because that's just that's just that night when they get peckish. They can see everything that's in there. Don't put the light there. You don't need a light in a fridge. There's no lights in other cupboards. Yet where there's food, it's like fat is getting up at four in the morning. What can it have? What's that at the back? Get rid of the light, they'd eat less. That might, there might be some logic in that. That's interesting. Well, what's it there for? Tell me what that light is there for. They say, turn off your standby light, yet you've got a light in your fridge. Well, no, it is Showing you off. where tomatoes is. Yeah, no, but it's turned off when you shut. The, you don't, the light's not on when the door's not open. Yes, but a fat person has always got the fridge door open. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you saying, in a way, is that the free market, capitalism being what it is, which has allowed companies, food manufacturers, to make them more full of more salt, more fat, and in order well, to attract you, in order to make more profits, is actually resulting in obesity? I was in a cafe, right? Um, I normally like to go in there, and I might have beans on toast. Mm. Uh, cheese on top. Of tea. I might have a bit of cheese. Yeah, cheddar on top. Uh, only if they offer. I sometimes sort of think, I shouldn't have it, so mm. I'll only have it if they say, do you want cheese? Oh, OK. And then it's down to their problem. You know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like they made me have that. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm sat in there. This little fella, I'd say he was from, like, Africa or something, yeah. uh, came in, had a little top hat on, <laughs> suitcase and red jeans. Dead happy he was. Uh, I think he'd just turned up to London. It's his first day out, and he's probably thinking, I can't believe me, look, look at the choice here. Anyway, <laughs> the difference was... All conjecture. Yeah. All uh, yeah, yeah go the on. difference was, he went in and he said, have you got any porridge? He asked for two bowls, for the price of one. It was a little bit of a... A kerfuffle. Yeah, a little bit, because he couldn't understand why. You've got loads of porridge, uh, give me two portions. But the, what, what, what I found interesting is, he didn't want to go for the doughnut or the pastry, because in his country, they don't, they don't have it. Mm. So food where he's from is for what food is for, isn't it? Giving you energy. Yeah. Here, it's not about that, is it? No. You go, oh, I'd, I'd love a little uh, muffin. So I just, found, I just found it interesting, that's all my point, is that he could have anything. He's come over here, he's in London. He's yeah. got loads of stuff on offer. Yeah. He still wanted his porridge. Do you think uh, that... Well, firstly, do you think perhaps he had travelled from the past <laughs> <laughs> in some kind of time machine? <laughs> but secondly, do you think that now that he'll have, a, he'll, he'll have a, his first taste of a donut, won't he, or a pan of chocolate, do you think he'll get the taste of it the next time you see him? Well, maybe. That's, that's yeah, how it let, works, isn't it? I mean, out. why do I like... Hey, well, next time we're in there, they go, hello, usual. No, chef de porridge, I want a donut. That's, that's what happens, isn't it? It's all about a mixture. You need a mixture in your body. You need to have... Like I've told, said to you before, I get an urge for things that I don't even know about. Do you know what I mean? What, like what? Anything. The one that always surprises me are plums. <laughs> because I shouldn't get an urge for plums. I don't like them enough, but if I pass them in a supermarket, I go, I want them for a bit. Yeah, that, I think you need that. And I go mad, I'll eat a full packet in a day. I'll eat, like, six and get bellyache and that, and I know I shouldn't overdo it with them. But it's just like, my body... He's is, like a creature, isn't he? My body just calls out for stuff. It doesn't, Carl. No, he feels that way because I wouldn't normally buy him. My favourite fruit, I, I like an apple, love a banana. Mm. I've got into um, blackberries. Yeah. Quite expensive, but a bit of a treat. I think there's plenty of fruit out there. Bananas, apples, oranges. We've got plenty of fruit. They can't get rid of fruit quick enough. There's loads of stuff with fruit in now. Shower gel with kiwi in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they can't get rid of it because it's too much. So they're just going, what can we do with all this stuff? We'll stick it in there. Orange juice. I, t I had orange juice sort of cordial. Yeah. It tastes a bit weird, isn't it, orange? Sneaked a bit of pineapple in. <laughs> orange and pineapple. They can't get rid of the stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Satsuma. Easy to peel. What I don't like is the big oranges. You have to peel them and you get it on your... You well, know. They're the ones I eat when I'm in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> so you enough. just dunk under the water afterwards and you're clean treat. again. If I'm going to have a bath, then, yeah. Yeah, then that's what you do. You so it's two eat. treats. It's an orange and a bath. I mean, that's amazing. That's an amazing thing to look forward to. Don't you think you've blown that for when you're old, when you're 74? And I go, I'll tell you what, Carl, lovely treats, a bath and an orange. Done it. I did it when I was 36. <laughs> <laughs>